lightweight bout between Khabib Nurmagomedov and Tony Ferguson. All right, here he is, the former UFC interim lightweight champion, Tony Ferguson, a man who many believe skill for skill is the most well-rounded 155-pound fighter in the world. Of course, he has yet to become the undisputed champion, but most people believe eventually he will get that date with Khabib Nurmagomedov, and we'll see what he'll be able to do with it. For now, though, Ferguson's focus just on getting his hand raised here tonight. This guy has an incredible ability to control fighters. It's extremely frustrating frustrating for the man on the bottom, but once he gets the fight to the ground, oftentimes that is where the fight will remain. Training at the American Kickboxing Academy under Javier Mendez and of course under the leadership of his father, Abdulmanap Nurmagomedov. Here is Khabib Nurmagomedov. This is not a man you want on top of you. This is not a man you want to get punched in the face by. Plus skills in all areas of mixed martial arts for the Dagestan Russian born Khabib, the Eagle Nurmagomedov, who is putting together one of the greatest legacies the sport of mixed martial arts has ever seen. This guy is amongst one of the most elusive fighters as far as his defense is concerned. Extremely difficult to hit. And now our tale of the tape for this lightweight fight. Ferguson is four years the elder. He is one inch taller. He will have a six inch reach advantage. All right, now to get us started, we go inside the octagon where we find Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC lightweight division. Let's see first, fighting at the blue corner. This man is a freestyle fighter, holding a professional record of 26 wins, three losses. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Orange County, California, Tony El Kukui Ferguson! And now his busy opponent, fighting out of the red corner. A grappler, holding a professional record of 27 wins, no losses. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting! Out of the Republic of Dagestan, Russia, Habib, the Eagle, Nurmagomedov! And when the action begins, the referee in charge, Herb Dean. So Herb Dean, third man in there for this one. Great fight. Great. Well, it's a building that has hosted so many classic fights. We are underway at Madison Square Garden, right here in the heart of New York City. He is undefeated. He is one of the best pound-for-pound -pound fighters in the world. And what a pain in the neck he is to fight. Khabib Nurmagomedov figures to go to the takedowns early enough. Looks like he's going for a submission. He's going for it. It looks like he's got it locked up. Oh, we're getting a finish here. And this might just be a matter of time. There's the top. Great job in establishing that submission. Well, yeah, Joe, that was fun while it lasted. He told us he wanted to be at his most efficient here tonight. He certainly didn't waste a lot of time. He knew he wanted to get the fight to the ground. He gets the early takedown, and the submission follows shortly thereafter. And here's the end of the fight. And let's take a look at that twister from another angle. Locks down that leg, wraps the arms around the back of the head, and cranks for the tap. And let's watch it here one more time. Deep submission and the tap. So a seminal moment for him here tonight, Joe Rogan, as he gets the win by way of submission. Certainly one of the bigger wins of his career and as big a statement as he could have made here tonight. Let's get it to Bruce Buffer to make it official. Is going to stop to this contest 
at 33 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by tap out due to a twister, Tony Well, what else can be said about Tony Ferguson? Congratulations to El Kukui, who gets yet another UFC win here tonight. And I think the conditioning is where I'd at least like to start. I mean, this man has cardio for days. Looked like he could have gone 10 rounds here tonight. Didn't need 50 minutes to accomplish the goal. Tony Ferguson celebrating with Eddie Bravo and the rest after yet another massive performance here tonight. The former UFC interim lightweight champion, Tony Ferguson. Of course, it was a devastating knee injury that prevented him from making the walk against Khabib Nurmagomedov early in 2018. But Tony Ferguson is undeterred as he gets back to the task at hand here tonight. He believes one win could put him exactly where he wants to get. He said, certainly a finish would be useful, but I gotta find a way to get my hand raised one way or another here tonight. This guy has outstanding takedown defense. His sprawl, his timing, and his ability to get up are amongst the best in the world. So here he is, the two-time Combat Sambo world champion, lightweight contender, Khabib Nurmagomedov. Undefeated for the mixed martial arts career, he has been dominant every step of the way. Joe the Eagle trains out of the famed American Kickboxing Academy in San Jose, California. This guy has tremendous ground technique, and his ability to pass guard and get to a dominant position is elite. the tape for this lightweight scrap. Ferguson is four years his senior. He will have a six inch reach advantage. Here once more is Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC lightweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a freestyle fighter, holding a professional record of 26 wins, three losses. He stands five feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Orange County, California, Tony El Ferguson! And now, introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. A grappler holding a professional record of 27 wins, no losses. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of the Republic of Dagestan, Russia, Habib! Action begins. Our referee in charge of the octagon is Herb Dean. Herb Dean, third man in the octagon for this Three one. Three. Three. We are underway. Ferguson has been such a submission threat and successful striker in the UFC that people sleep on the fact that he does come in with wrestling credentials. Two-time collegiate All-American at Grand Valley State University. It's very close here. This could be it. It's getting tighter. And the win! Great job. Didn't waste any time. Took this fight to the ground and got the early submission. Yeah, Joe, we could barely get the fight clock sponsor out, and the submission comes here in round one. He said he didn't want to waste a lot of time. He knew his opponent would know what was coming. It was going to be takedown attempts in bunches, but he couldn't stop the early shot. And and he certainly couldn't stop the submission. So great effort and even better technique here tonight. And here it is again, absolutely perfectly executed. And one more time, nice technique here on this submission.
So there he is, your winner by submission. That could hold up as one of the better subs of the year. Near perfect execution tonight. Now we go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Deans called a stop to this contest at 21 seconds of the very first round. For the winner, by submission, Tony Well, what else can you say about Tony Ferguson? Came in with the longest winning streak in lightweight history and only extends it here tonight. This is a finisher of the highest order. Switches, stances beautifully, all pressure all the time. And he's so unorthodox, you don't really know what's coming. All you know is that it's going to be nonstop aggression for 25 minutes or fewer. Tony Ferguson remaining a major threat here in this UFC lightweight division.